The Inhorgenta Watch Fair in Munich this year Zinn presented two new watches, the Zinn 104 STSA ABE and link above here, the Zinn 158. Please check out the video and enjoy this one. Hello and welcome to Watchmax's watch videos. My name is Axel and I'm happy to have you on the show. Yeah, um, please excuse my language. I'm not a native, native speaker, so I may use wrong words. I may be slow and uh, maybe not clear upon certain points. So please forgive me when, uh, when you don't feel comfortable with my language. Leave a comment. This is a kind of experiment. Okay, this video is about the 104 STSA ABE. A terrible cryptic name specs over here. Please check out the specs. Um, the when, when Zinn names watches, they really do talk about watches. The naming of a watch really describes what it is. Let me explain it uh, on the example of the Zinn 104. 104 is the model series. ST stands for steel case compared to the titanium cases Zinn offers. The SA stands for the sapphire glass compared to the uh, acryl glasses. The A stands for Arabic numbers on the dial compared to the indices, the B for the blue dial and the E for the ebony colored hands and markers. SIN 104 STS AABE. I hope this is clear now. This is one of the most gorgeous watches I've ever had and I'm really stunned by the color. The face of the watch turns from a darkish midnight blue into a very solid navy blue and uh, later on the video you're going to join me on my south balcony and you will see that it can also be a very flushy you got me and I love you overall blue sunburst dial. It's absolutely great. This watch is equipped with a bi-directional 60 click countdown bezel with a luminous marker at the 12 o'clock position. Uh, I'm, I'm so pleased to have the watch and something I didn't know. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you about that later. Let's first, let's, let's have a look at the movement. The movement is a, a standard silita movement with decorated blue screws and a goldish rotor. And uh, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. It's, Eine von 1000, which translates into one of a thousand, and that's exactly what I have. I've got one of a thousand. It's a limited version, and what I didn't know when I made the original video in German, uh, it's one of the best seller Zinn ever had. It went into the sales by Friday last week. Today it's a Thursday, and you even can't order it at Watch Buys US. They don't accept payments and, and reservations. And from Zinn in Frankfurt, I've heard that it's got to be sold out by the end of the week, early next week. So you may be lucky at some depots and some authorized dealers, but uh, it's hard to get one going forward. On the wrist, the 41 millimeter watch wears pretty, pretty comfortable. With its 11 millimeter high, it's uh, a good fit to a suit or a narrow sleeve, perfectly and well done. 20 millimeter lug width uh, allows to provide a couple of standard straps, although Zinn provides two very interesting straps to the watch, but I'm going to show that later in the video. The box coming with this particular watch is slightly bigger than the standard ones because Zinn offers an extra strap, so you get two straps for that watch. I don't like the big boxes because it's, it causes some storage problems on my side, but it's, it is what it is. That's what Zinn calls the canvas straps, but uh, later you see more. So welcome to my south balcony. Sounds great, doesn't it? Actually, I do only have one balcony and it's going to south, so it's my south balcony. Uh, it's a moderate sunlight. It's not a really sunny day, but you can see how flushy and and brilliant the watch looks like. It's so great. I really, really do love it. It's, it's 
one of my favorites, although I only have it for about six days now. You can see the ebony hands and markers, which perfectly fit into the blue dial. And here you can see the day and date wheel are blue as well. Strike, they did it. They skipped the blick. They, they skipped the black date and they, they put it in blue, which perfectly fits to the face of the watch. Thank you, Zen, for doing that. Absolutely great. So let me see how it looks if you turn the camera around the watch. And you see the sunburst dial. So George is so great. I, I really, really appreciate it on the watch and the color of the hands and markers perfectly match with the overall appearance and uh, depending on the the light and the angle it's exactly the same color like the uh, sand colored strap as Zen calls it so it's uh, it's so beautiful and I I really hope you enjoy that watch as I do it Oops, I think I could have cleaned up the watch a little bit more, so please excuse myself for presenting you an un uncleaned watch, but I, I was so keen to make the video that I obviously skipped that part of my usual preparation. Um, there is only one thing, Zin technology, which is applied to that watch, and that's the bezel, which can't get lost because it's screwed down to the case. It turns bidirectional and can't get lost. Actually, I wouldn't miss that particular technology if it wasn't there, but uh, since I have it, it's, it's better to have it than to miss it. So be happy about it. Here we come to the straps. Zin calls it the canvas straps. Actually, it's a composite strap. It's um, on, the, on the downside a leather strap with sealed edges and the upper side is the canvas part. It's a bit, a bit stiff at the beginning, as you can see here, so uh, not that soft as other straps. But after a couple of hours on the wrist, it's going to be softer and softer and wears very, very, very comfortably really good thing. I personally prefer the sand colored canvas over the grayish because it provides a better contrast to the, the watch itself and the dial and the bezel. And the sand colored canvas matches perfectly the color of the hands and markers, but the grayish ones is a good fit as well. So it's a, I think it's a question to personal style and taste. So whatever you do, you can't do wrong. Please subscribe my channel, like my videos and leave your comments below. Thanks for being here. The Inhorgenta Watch Fair 